Reaction. It is brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. I'm your host, Jalen Rose. The Washington Wizards will soon be tipping off against the New Orleans Pelicans. Today's call is provided by none other than Mike Green and Jeff Van Gundy. Welcome to the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, as we get set for the New Orleans Pelicans looking for a win here at home tonight against the visiting Washington Wizards. Hello again, everyone. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand as we call the action today. As we get things started, what are the Pelicans looking for here today? When you're facing this team, it better be about stopping the human blur, John Wall. He gets the outlet on the run. He pushes it in the end as fast as anyone in the league. He's not a great finisher, but on direct line drives to the rim, he will crush your defense. Plus, an improved shooter, this guy is an absolute anthem. Nene, Paul Pierce with a nice look. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. prettier than seeing a big time shooter knocking a three from straight on. John Wall with the ball here. Neal against Gordon gets past the defense. Nice. And the layup is good. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. into the paint, which usually results in a nice finish. Oh. 
good personnel change going on right now. Number nine, the Wizards with the ball Webster. in control. Into the game for the New Orleans Pelicans. Number 42, Alexei Ojinsa. Gortat puts it in with a jump hook. Give me good offense over good defense any day of the week. Well defended possession, but better off. Davis is looking to set up in the paint. Leaning back, puts it up. Anthony Davis with the puck. That's an 11 to 2 run for the Pelicans. One minute remaining in the first quarter. New Orleans up by eight. We're top for two again here. Gets it to go. The assist from number two, John Davis firing again. And the rebound taken by Nene. This is his first field goal attempt of the night. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN Sunday after the break. Remember, fans, if our team reaches 100 points and wins tonight, everyone gets free pizza. Miller against Holloway. Seven on the 24. Miller fires with three on the clock. They reset the shot clock. from the field tonight. Right from the start here in the first half, they've made a conscious effort to move the basketball around and get quality shots.
looked like some substitution is going to be made now for the team. Number 34, Paul Miller Pierce. Set to bring it up. Entering the game for the New Orleans Pelicans. Number 10, Eric Gordon. Porter's looking to do damage in the paint. Called against Drew Holiday, picks up his first, first personal foul. Team foul number one for Washington. Andre Miller to the line for two. Free throw, good. Anderson the rebound. Drew Holiday with the ball. Puts it up for two. Jumper off the mark that time. The Wizards with the ball in control. Tries the reverse layup, flips it home. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Three minutes gone by in the second. The Pelicans up by nine. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer. Misses it. And the lead still in single figures. Miller in possession. Changes on the floor. Serving in Washington, bringing the ball up. Number 23, Anthony Davis. One goes for the reverse. Right there, and it won't go. Inside. There's the whistle. Good job to draw the foul. I really like when I see a team play foul. smart offensive team basketball. One. Get the ball First to the great free throw shooter, get him in an aggressive attacking mode, create the contact, and get two free throws. Nope. First free throw won't go. the second after he misses the first.
Omer Sheik picks up his first of the night. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. And that completes the three-point play. This is a great opportunity to execute the two-for-one situation and give themselves a cushion going into the next quarter. Anderson shot clock. Miller into the front court. The name. it up from three-point land. And time expires here to end the first half. The Pelicans up by nine. We're just a couple of moments away from insights from Jalen Rose. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Brought to you by yours truly, Jalen Rose. The Pelicans were the dominant team in that first half, without question. And these guys have every reason to feel good about how they scored effectively in that opening half. Great offensive display. Have a look at the leading scores for the New Orleans Pelicans. The Wizards were definitely sluggish with their scoring to start this game. And no matter what kind of defense you're playing, if you're not leading on the scoreboard, you're not winning the game. It really is that simple. Game track. Field goal percentage. The Washington Wizards weren't efficient with their shooting, and therefore, they weren't effective with their offense. Their field goal percentage is lacking, and it's probably the biggest reason for their first half deficit. Their offense was at its worst in the second quarter. Player of the half. Drew Holiday gave us the scoring you're seeing in these highlights on his way to this award. And here we have a look at the shot chart. Who was cold? Nene certainly hasn't contributed much for his team when it comes to scoring. He's been able to get shots up, but more often than not, they just haven't been dropping for him. And here we've got the stats for you. These are the top plays from the opening half. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Top the rebound. 
Pierce bringing it up. Shot clock reads seven. Just gets it off in time. Nails it. Washington shooting 40% from the field. He's a special player because he can create something out of nothing late in the shot clock. Here, well defended, jump shot, but he still has the ability to put it in the basket. Davis for two, lets it go. The whistle and a foul called against Nene. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter, draw the contact, and get two freebies. And he connects on the first free throw. shot through the contact and now goes to the free throw. Drew Holiday shooting one. Hits the free throw. Three point play complete. John Wall with the ball here. some outstanding defensive work, forcing the offensive team into late shot clock shots, which are very low percent. The assist from number 11, Drew Holiday. The Wizards bring it into the front court. I like the energy. I like the passion here. Trying to block shots, but you have to demonstrate some type of discipline knowing that the ball's on the way down. I just got to let it go. I got to back off. They got that one to the rim, and now I'll just go up and rebound the ball. The Pelicans with the ball here. That's good, sound, solid basketball right there. You go strong to the basket, you get fouled, and now you have a great free throw shooter shooting free throws. First free throw, perfect.
think we have a little player shuffling going on here. Number four minutes gone by in the third. Eight. New Orleans up by 15. Stepping in for the Pelicans. Number 33, Ryan Anderson. We're taught. Fires away for two. Good touch inside. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Holiday into the front court. Fires for two. Converts on the inside. That's a 12 to two run for the Pelicans. The assist from number 23, Anthony Davis. up by 15. Stay tuned for more Sunday Night NBA presented by ESPN and EA Sports after this short break. Just a reminder today, folks, if our team wins the game and scores one John Wall tonight, with the ball in control. Pizza. Shot clock to seven. Pierce. It's good. And one. Tyreek Evans picks up his first personal tonight. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. And he does it. A three-point play. The Pelicans with the ball in possession. Evans jump shot. Won't go. To the rim and converts the lane. This is number two, John Holiday. Holiday moves into the front court. Davis is trying to get down low. Gets past the defender for the layup. He says no, but the ref says foul. Called against Pierce. That's his first. Team foul number one for the New Orleans Pelicans. Tyree Evans to the line. Shooting. Knocks down the first one. from the field. Blow 
goes past the defender. Puts it up. No good. Yeah, that's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the Mets. Let's it go. He puts it in. for position in the paint. A good look for two. It's good. with personnel on the floor. Losers, number 34, Paul Pierce. Wall against Holiday. Three minutes gone by in the fourth. Rollins up by 12. from the line after hitting the second. Holiday coming across. Evans jump shot. Quick rebound by Nene. The Wizards with the ball here. One minute remaining in the fourth quarter. In the paint, right there in the fourth quarter. And you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. Fires away from downtown. Knocks it down. And Drew Holiday with 17 points. And that pretty much wraps it up. The rest of the game is a waste of my time. Pierce fires away. That won't go. A minute remains in the game. The Pelicans up by 16. The jump hook. Time 
runs out. The final score is 48 to 32. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Green saying thanks for watching and good night. Taylor Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Pelicans dominated this game from beginning to end. The scoring display they put on is gonna be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. Check out the leading scores for the New Orleans Pelicans. The Wizards suffered from a lacking offense in this contest. So it's imperative that they put this one behind them and start preparing for the next matchup. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Washington Wizards. Game track. Field goal percentage. The Washington Wizards made it pretty easy for us to determine why they lost and it was clearly their first shooting. Even if we hadn't watched this game, all it would take is one look at their field goal percentage to make an educated guess. The offense looked especially bad in the opening quarters. Player of the game. Anthony Davis was a unanimous selection after today's performance. And for the stat geeks, here's a look at his number. Who was cold? John Wall was stunning today for all the wrong reasons. It was miss after miss, and yet he put up shot after shot. That's not exactly the kind of consistency that a coach is looking for with this player. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Damon Rose, signing off.